are. Peyton's got all the technology running for us. Hi, and today I'm going to be speaking on behalf of the social conflict of Canada's Indigenous people. Although the mass amounts of deaths have drastically decreased since the abolition of residential school systems, there is still a drastic amount of tragedy with those who are native to Canada. This leads me to my research question of which I've established from the stimulus main idea of conformity. And in this case, conformity or synchrony into society. My question is to what extent do indigenous people in Canada need more recognition to save cultural and ethnic enclaves and avoid assimilation within them? It is likely a person may have no idea of indigenous history let alone personal discrimination for the sole fact that they are native to Canada and affiliate themselves with an Aboriginal Canadian tribe. From the discovery of Canada itself, the Indigenous peoples have been known to help shape Canada into the country we know today. Tribes such as the Metis and First Nation other tribes have defended native Canada land against incoming Americans, as well as keeping the land prosperous. However, as time went on, Canadian authorities or for centuries, separated thousands of indigenous children from their families, requiring them to attend residential schools. These schools aim to assimilate children into modern white Canadian society through abusive techniques. The issue now is that there is a large amount of inequality that relies from the centuries that Aboriginal people were considered less than the rest of society in Canada. Indigenous people have been stripped from their land as well as forced to assimilate further into modern Canadian culture. Ha, consider, excuse me, assimilate further into modern Canadian culture out of hope for an easier lifestyle coexisting with modern Canada. This is a major issue because indigenous people in Canada make up a large part of the population residing there. According to the Canadian press, there's a total Aboriginal population of over 1 million people. Additionally, these 1 million or previously more people have had to endure injustice for centuries upon centuries. This injustice is a step closer this injustice is a step closer to their culture dying with time through conformity. Overall, this situation ultimately matters because all people deserve social justice, not those who are of any particular stereotype, race, gender, or gender. Discrimination is discrimination. The solution to this discrimination is through education. Just how education is a mandatory system majority of children and young adults go through, certain courses and certain courses are the same way. Um, excuse me. According to the Canadian Association of Public Schools in 2022, all public schools in Canada are to follow a standard curriculum. Through this curriculum, Indigenous history should be a required course to graduate, whether it's 11th grade in Quebec or 12th grade throughout the majority of the rest of Canada, Indigenous history should become a standard in higher level education. It could also be beneficial to have a particular lesson or introduction to Indigenous history in elementary school as well in a tasteful manner due to grim cases involved with the past. All in all, Indigenous people in Canada need more recognition incorporated in mandatory education systems. If I may shed some light on a few common perspectives, such as teachers, indigenous people, classmates, and even government officials, all of which would be reaping the benefits of drawing awareness to indigenous people and their suffrage throughout the past, especially due to the fact that they are all positions which rely on each other. Teachers teach the students of whom, of whom classmates teach the students of whom are classmates to the indigenous children and their families who are affected by the government official enforced policies that are voted on by all citizens. My first solution would be to establish more cultural movements. This would mean to include more nationally celebrated official hol holidays dedicated to Aboriginal people in Canada. To follow, this would also include the incorporation of natives in mainstream business as well as broadcasting to bring awareness to people in their land. Protest could also be an adequate detail to the idea of more cultural movements as it may bring light to what is right in the hopes of new policies. However, there are some limitations 
However, some limitations do remain, the largest being that these efforts have already been attempted and taken place through days like Indigenous Peoples Day in Canada. Cultural movements and protests can also lead to physical conflict through protest, which is a prime example of what is wanted to be avoided. Finally, taking a higher stance is needed for change. Yes, cultural movements can take place and may motivate others to take action, but where is the enforcement of change? This brings me to my second solution, to ensure more political policies. This would mean creating laws to reduce destruction of indigenous land reserves, as well as the mistreatment of people residing on them. Another idea would be to incorporate and traditional lifestyles into modern day society without the discrimination and possibly government assistance to keep modern society out of their reserves. Yet the limitation would include the solution being extremely broad with many different ways to go about these laws, followed by a lengthy process to be approved that may not even work well incorporated into society. To add, to add one voting, to add a law voting on or speaking up upon these new laws it is also possible that representatives could incorporate their bias through their lack of knowledge on indigenous crisis. This brings me to my final solution, resolution in education. With the lack of knowledge of society surrounding in Canada's indigenous tribes and people, it would be in their best interest to create a resolution in education. The solution would include creating standards to incorporate into Canadian society history lessons. These lessons would be treated as if they were just as important as any other standard they were going to hold on a test. The material would connect students and families all over Canada through the knowledge of why Indigenous lands hold so much strength and history as well as wisdom with them. Just as a major problem was created through the schooling system with residential, just as the education system brought in these struggles in the beginning through residential school systems, it can also be a great solution to connect students around Canada. The schooling system, the schooling system with residential schools without, the schooling system can be without residential schools and it can be recovered through the connection of education and incorporation of indigenous past and what amount of meaning they hold for Canada's past. Education is strength. Okay. All right, Kai, two questions for you. <clears throat> My first question is, how did some preliminary information you gathered inform or guide your research question? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. How did some preliminary information that you gathered guide your research question? So upon looking at all of my, edu all my research in the beginning, I kind of found one particular article that explained Indigenous Peoples Day and like Canada Day in Canada and how everybody was brought together to celebrate it. And that kind of led me to believe, oh, well, what is this large movement about? And so upon looking into it, I found that the large movement was actually about the struggles that these Indigenous people faced in the past. And so that kind of led me to my question, well, what were their struggles? How can we make this problem better if so many people are out here trying to support it? All right, last question. How is your solution in conversation with the other pieces of literature or research sources that you examined? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. How is your solution in conversation with other pieces of literature or other research sources that you examined? My solution would be a connection to other literature and resources that I used because throughout these sources, it kind of stated how a lot of the problem resides in the fact that a lot of these people who don't support the indigenous people and their issues are people who aren't educated on what happened in the past and that education is a major factor in why people struggle to like get along and support these movements and create laws and so that is why i made education my solution all right we're